Hey guys, it's Red one and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be working on this Kadov coat design I came up with that I think that uh, um, some of you might find helpful for your towns or villages, etc. In the medieval days or even in the Roman times, etc. Pigeons and such and doves and such were a very staple food for the medieval society. They were tasty, they were delicious, tender, and they, those pigeons and doves needed a place to live and to grow and so that um, they could, you know, the people that would eat them could have an easy place just to grab one and chop it up and make it into dinner. So what they would do is they would build these pigeon, basically large pigeon coops and the official name is a dove coat um, or a dove coat, dove coot. Of coot, I don't know. Um, there's several ways of pronouncing it. Um, there's a lot of different ways to build these dove coats. There's really no one way. So, um, you know, this is just one simple design. I'm sort of following my more like the brown roof kind of style with the cobble and such. And I think it works out pretty good for those of you that also follow my other tutorials. Like maybe this will go along with my church, the church tutorial I did a while back, um, etc. You know, having something like this I feel like would be helpful. So on the inside, as you can see, the dove coat has a lot of different little cubbies where the pigeons would live. Uh, I use crows because Conquest does not yet have um, pigeons and doves that uh, we can use in, um, in Minecraft, being able to use them. But eventually, hopefully, the pack will. Um, we use the Conquest resource pack by Monsterfish for those of you that are interested. And uh, we have what is called metadatas. And if you want to know what metadatas are, you know, or if you want to come join us, um, you can just go ahead and type in raven.org slash launcher. And then that will go ahead and download the launcher for you. I think it's in the description below. If not, I will put it in there. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check that out. And then uh, we are on the raven.org server. So hopefully um, you'll be able to come join us and be a part of our community. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this, and um, and yeah, so cool beans. Okay guys, so our first order of business is you want to build your foundation of what we're going to be working on, which is you know the Dove Code right over here. And as you can see, the, uh, the axes are all at five blocks away from the center. So if you take a yellow block or any kind of block and then you just do what I did here, one block out, one block out, and at the end, um, that will give you your block. And as you can see, it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's only five across and uh, it's not too big. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to follow this along pretty easily. Um, if you get caught up somewhere, maybe you can just go ahead and pause the video and hopefully be able to catch up. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So on each side, we want to make the foundation five wide, just like this. And so this, um, you know, will set the foundation for our uh, dove coat. Um, but also another cool thing about dove coats is they were used also as sending messages. What people would do is they would take, say, a dove from this specific dove coat from, say, a castle in this part and these parts, and then they would bring it to another castle. And so the dove wants to be back at his pigeon coop. This is where he wants to be. Um, and so what they would do is they would tie a message to the dove, and then the dove would um, and then they would let the dove go free and eventually it would find its way back here and the caretaker would find the message and relay that to the Lord or the bishop or whoever is on the receiving end. So that is also another cool thing. So pigeons were used for food and also for messaging. Um, however, that wasn't a very reliable uh, means of messaging because sometimes, you know, the bird would say, hmm, I like this spot better. Um, but yeah, there's, that's why there are certain pigeons called homing pigeons is because they keep wanting to come home. Um, and in this case, it's a dove coat. So yeah, now what we're going to do is go ahead and build all of this two blocks wide all the way around just like this. And this is going to um, give us a little bit uh, more of room to work with underneath uh, so that it's not so cramped inside. And then on each side, we're going to add in little triangular shapes like this. And this is going to allow for um, that sort of sloped feeling on the outside. You see how it sort of slopes? Um, you can see it better on this side. You see that kind of slope there? Um, you know, we don't want it just straight down. I mean, we could do it just straight down, but um, it just doesn't have the same effect. 
uh, and it would look different then if we did have it just a straight slope so but anyways now what we're going to do is go ahead and add in some stairs just like this all the way around on these um, these ends just like so and then uh, that again is we're working on that slope sort of look to our dove coat and so now we're gonna add in stairs like this and that is going to finish that up so now we got our first layer done let's go ahead and just smash a door in there at like that um, no big deal that's where our door is going to be in order to get inside and grab some doves for a delicious tender meal so um, yeah so let's go ahead and now work on the next portion that's what this is right here as you can see the more steady slope that we're uh, working with and so what we're going to do is we're gonna build one block above the stair block so it's gonna be six blocks high one two three four five six one two three four five six I'm sorry that goes down one right there and then we're gonna go one two three four five six and then these are just gonna be one high or uh, five high just like that all the way around and um, that's how the, the methods going to be or that's how it's going to look so we're just gonna go ahead and do this real fast just to give it you guys one more idea before I quickly do the rest and it goes five high so on the, the corners or on the roundish part it goes three or five high and then on the ends it goes six high and then you go ahead and add in half slabs just like this to sort of give that sort of sloped look to it to make it look very, um, you know, more or less organic. So I'm going to do the other sides real fast and I will be right back. Okay guys, so our next order of business is we're going to be working on this section, in which case where the birds are able to fly out. Um, this is where all the like little holes are where they would be able to fly out. Um, we're going to be working a little bit on that section as well. So anyways, what we're going to do real fast is go ahead and just add in the foundation blocks. So that's what this is right here. And it's just going to go too high all the way around just like this. We don't want, really want to put too much, um, we don't want to do, this is where all the little cubbies are going to go, all in these like open areas down here, so don't really worry about that too much. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this all the way around, just like so. Basically, we're building a box, and um, just like that, so that's pretty cool. And so then on top of that, as you can see, is where the all those little holes are and what we're going to do is go ahead and put these are placeholder blocks placeholder blocks are just like things that you can place there just to make it so that it's easier to build at the time so what we're going to do is build the um, you know stone brick stairs inwards like this on each corner all the way in just like so um, pretty simple there's really no method to it but these again are where the birds can fly out and enjoy the day or fly in etc you know they need a place to fly in too right so now we're gonna go around destroy the placeholder blocks and in the open gaps in between the stairs we're gonna place in our cobble blocks like so and now what we need to do is so this is the end of the stone portion here we'll add in that later but um, now what we got to do is build a support structure in order to hold up this last bit of stone on the top so in order to do that is on each of these corners we got to do this as you can see it's pretty simple we'll just put upside down stairs on each corner just like so and then what we need to do is this as well Oops there too so what happens is that makes it so that this window isn't really accessible but these are so these windows are still accessible on the corners and then there's also these big windows on the side which we're gonna do real quick right now as you can see it's just like so and then that is how we get our um, you know the pigeons inside this monstrosity so we're gonna go ahead and do this real fast. As you can see, it's really kind of a simple thing. You put upside down and um, right side upstairs, etc., like that. And then you choose an axis um, like that you want to 
work with and I think I'm just gonna do this so you put upside down stairs like this like you could either do this or you could do this I'm gonna do this because it's like sort of like right where the door is it doesn't really matter which way I just like to do it this way and now we're going to put on top of that the cobble like so and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and choose our cornerstone style cobble go ahead and grab that there we go so it adds in that sort of stone brick to it and now we're gonna go one two three high on each on each corner um, it goes four up from the bottom so yeah that goes four high pretty much and then over here as you can see it connects underneath that so what we need to do is one two three and four and now what we're going to do is go ahead and place in stairs like that you know just kind of upside down you just want to make little holes every so often just to make it more interesting um, you know it really doesn't matter where you place them it's just kind of these are this little holes for the pigeons to get out so that is the stone structure so that is all the stone we're going to be using for our dovecot wait I'm one lower than what I'm supposed to be whoopsie daisy so it's actually six high so it's one two three four five one two three four five it's five high it's five high okay well there we go and so on, then on top of that we're just gonna go ahead and place in our stuff like that and then you can just destroy the stairs underneath no big deal there's nothing really uh, there's no big deal with that at all just like that and then there we go that is the stone structure just like that and then for our next segment we're gonna be working on the little bit of roofs on the top so we're gonna be working on this roof here and this roof here and uh, then that will be able to finish out finish off the X the exterior and then we'll start working on the inside okay guys so let's go ahead and work on the roofs really quick now for some of you you don't have the metadata and I understand that so in case for these cornerstone blocks just use stone bricks and you guys won't have these stairs so in that case just use the full blocks of um, the brown clay that we're using so what we need to do is just go ahead and place in blocks like this all the way around so now what we're going to do is go ahead and place those three across and then we're going to do that um, so as you can see we do three o'clock cross just under where the openings are for where the doves would come out and then on either side of the little windows you go ahead and put um, blocks like that so now what we gotta do is just go ahead and place in wooden blocks now again you guys don't have those blocks um, you can go ahead and just place in spruce blocks but I really encourage you guys to come join the raven.org server so that you can use metadata and if you don't want to, if you want to use metadata on yourself um, just go ahead and Google metacycler plugin and then that will uh, take care of that and hopefully you'll be able to use that so um, but yes very cool so now what we need to do is go ahead into the next roof um, out of clay which is going to be just like this you go ahead and build it around you build up and you build up one more just like that as you can see but actually in these little slash sections you can go ahead and place in some spruce like that um, that just makes it easier for later on when you start adding in those little um, these little like sort of jet outs over here so now what we're going to do is go ahead and build those little jet outs these are going to be sort of like little things to cover the windows from you know rain getting in etc um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this place spruce half slabs like so so now we're gonna go ahead and add in these stair blocks now again some of you guys do not have the blocks in order to do this and I understand that but um, it really adds in a nice again a nice flavor um, that's what we're looking for right we're looking for the nice flavor kind of thing so as you can see we have little bits of gaps in here so you can just add in the brown clay just like that and then that is how one corner of your building should look like as you can see the same thing over here and then on the top it go you can go ahead and just add in some stair blocks up here as well 
um, so it's really kind of simple just like so and then um, we, you can add in the top portion here and then that's where the wind the wind vane is um, a wind vane would be used in order to uh, judge the wind direction I don't know why it would be on top of one of these things but it is um, but that is a iron bar metadata um, and it's you know once you get to the right metadata then you got to go through the biomes in order to get it so anyways that is that and let me go ahead and just finish this off really fast so you guys can see the idea of what it's going to look like um, just like that and here as well and now what I'm going to do is go ahead and time-lapse the rest and finish up this roof and such and then we will go ahead and um, add the pallet on the outside and then that'll be good and then we'll start working on the inside. Okay guys, so now we're going to add in this palette really fast. I'm just going to go ahead and show you a little sort of sample of what I'm going to be doing on the front here. As you can see, I like to do what's called a gradient in order to make a sort of um, transition between the darker, wetter stones on the bottom to lighter, um, you know, drier stones towards the top. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, we add in you know, different types of stone things. Um, now for those of you that are in single player and you guys are maybe in 1.9 etc you guys don't have these blocks etc that you can use um, but you do have some of these like you have the normal stone you have the darker stone um, I'm sure you can find something or maybe just make it all darker stone down here at the bottom who knows um, if you follow my survival series uh, I do have a tutorial over there on or not a tutorial but um, you know a I, I have made a gradient in uh, single player uh, with the normal non metadata blocks and it looks great so um, if you watch my survival series go to my look for my survival series playlist and uh, that'll take care of that so anyways there we go I always like to add in sort of like a stone over the doorways because otherwise it looks like it's gonna cave in I feel like that looks a lot better but yeah um, also down here we're gonna go ahead and add in a little sort of um, like uh, just just a little bit more depth like that I think that looks pretty good see as I did over there um, just a little uh, doorway sort of emphasizes the door but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and uh, quickly do this gradient around the structure and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and move on Okay guys, so now we're ready to work on the inside, and this is what the inside of your dovecot should look like. As you can see, you got these big open sort of spaces on the outside, and um, and then you, this is how your floor should look. Um, all you need to do is just add in some gravelly dirt, and then you add in the snowy dirt to represent lots of bird crap all over the floor. Um, that's kind of why I did that, and I think it looks great. It has a great look to it. So anyway, um, all the way along the bottom, you're going to go ahead and place in some stone bricks just like that except for um, along that area right there but you're gonna just gonna go ahead and do that and then that's gonna go up like so and you're gonna go ahead and place in some stairs like so and then like that and then that's going to be the inside of here so far um, so now what we need to do is place in the cobblestone like this and so that is going to be all the cubbies to where our birds are going to be staying. So let's go ahead and do this real fast. We're just going to do, actually I'm gonna go from this angle. I think that this would be more convenient. 
Um, but yeah, you got to do this all the way around. I'm going to do it real fast. Um, but for right now, let's just go ahead and do this real fast, just like that. Um, and so that's how your cubbies are going to look, just like that. Um, and then you add in like little bits of the uh, stone brick ones just along certain areas. There's really no method to it, just kind of wherever you think they should be, just to sort of break it up, make it look a little more textured and such. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones real fast, and then I'll be right back. So that is the meat of the dove cod here. In fact, you could stop here and you can decide on whatever you want to put on the inside, but um, I like to put in a little bit of scaffolding and wood to add in a little bit more texture and such to make it look a little more interesting. Also, I'm going to be adding in some brown clay wherever sort of like areas like this where it kind of hangs. Um, just like that, just to give it a little more texture. And then what I'm going to do is up along these, I'm going to go ahead and put trap doors. The trap doors add in that sort of like it hides the roof. Like we don't want to see that brown clay. Brown clay, bad. I don't like brown clay. Or like to see the roof from underneath is not preferable. Now, if only I can get that back there. There we go. For some reason, sometimes it likes to bug out a little bit. Um, so we just got to work with that a little bit, just like so. And then that is that. Um, now we're going to go ahead and change those biomes really fast to something like that. And we're going to make all of those the strong sort of wood texture uh, that we have for the trap doors all the way around. Now this is called the biome cycler. I've been using the meta cycler. This is the biome cycler. Um, you know, different ways to get different textures in Minecraft. So um, for those of you that are wondering how to use them, um, I suggest that you try to uh, come join us on Raven so that you can use them for yourself. Um, so yes. So there we go, that is that. And so that's like a little bit of an area up here where birds can sort of like roost and kind of, you know, enjoy the sun or something. Maybe the sun's coming in through one of these windows. Um, but yeah, they like, they there's, in some dove cots, there's like large windows, not large windows, but windows towards the top where sun can come in and sort of, you know, shine it up in here a little bit. Um, but in this one, there's really not too much sunlight um, to give it a little bit more, uh, Yes, rustic look to it but anyways there we go we're just gonna go ahead and do that and on the way down we're gonna go ahead and do stuff like this um, so we're gonna go ahead and put one there one there here these are just like little support structures and then at the same time they they dual port purpose as little places where the um, the birds can again roost and do their thing so that is that. That is the structure of the dove cot. There's really not much else that we can do to really add in more detail. I mean, you can go ahead and just do that. Um, you can add a little bit of hay in the corners and such. Maybe a little crafting table here and here just to where they can uh, store some things. As you can see, let's go over here real fast. And, you know, all the rest is pretty simple. Um, I guess you can add a ladder in. That's something that you could add in there. Um, you know, I just let's just go ahead and add in some more details just to give it a little bit more of a spruced up look to it, I guess. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put the ladder up to here and then across from here. Whoops. No, I did not want that. OK, so from here to there, we have the uh, again, another place where the birds can roost. And then from there and down, we can go ahead and place in a lamp um, so again we're gonna go ahead and get a lamp real fast like that and then we'll go ahead and hang it by yeah chains it's fine and let's go ahead and find a biome that fits just like that and then what we have again on the raven server is what we call invisible fire it allows you to put lighting where you don't need to see the light source 
so then they, you can just go ahead and put fire anywhere um, except for if it's by something that burns then you'll see the fire but then you store the blocks underneath and then voila there is fire and uh, so yeah anyways that's about all there is to see um, you know, there's really not much else we can do in here uh, that's really important again the rest is just sort of you know whatever details you want to add in birds up on the ledges hay down here um, but yeah let's go over here and just see what the finished version looks like um, we have some rooms over here um, to sweep up the floor a little shovel to you know get the crap out um, little tables little cup maybe that's bird feed in there um, this is hay that they would have down here where the birds could come down grab the hay and bring it up maybe a little bucket that um, yeah let's put a little bit of water in there why not a little thing of water um, so that is that anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that uh, it was helpful to some of you um, this is just one little Dove coat, dove coat design. There, are, you know, there's so many different designs and so many different ways to do it. So, um, I hope that it was helpful, and I hope that you guys were able to follow it pretty easily. So, um, again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget that I have a Facebook and Twitter you guys can follow me on, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till the next one. Bye bye.